We're out the lake today. We decided to take a drive. Man, that's white capping out there. It's pretty. It's windy. It's a little chilly. My wife's in the truck up there. She came out a little bit, but it's a little bit too ch chilly for her. We just had a lot of flooding and getting up here, getting to this spot. I didn't think we was going to make it. There's still a lot of debris over the dirt road. But all this water had gotten, all this area here got flooded. So that got up. I knew it did because the river was really high. I wasn't going to make a video. But I started finding a few things. In that little plug there, I found... Uh, nickel and a couple of pennies then I hit a 87 about three inches and also uh, surface fine found my cool little knife that'd be nice to when I clean it up to to uh, to clean and dig there we go anyway uh, got me a quarter it's pretty cool too it's got a real nice orangey. Hadn't popped the back off yet. Fixing to do it. Let's see what year this is. 1980. Got a nice orange tint. Reddish. Reddish orange. That's cool. It's not old. No silver. That's a cool old quarter. So, oh, let's see what we can get here. All right, good way to kill a Wednesday. Had an 80 and 82. I'm digging deep today, <clears throat> especially where I'm at. My biggest problem in this area, I haven't been digging deep enough. And with all the floods, they deposit a lot of soil. I cleaned it up a little bit. Thought I had me a ring. I thought, holy snap, but that's a heavy ring. I don't know exactly what that is. I know it's got machine threads. So, who knows? Yeah, that's still a cool find. It's got a nice green patina on it. So it's been there for a while. Okay, we're gonna move on. Cool beans. This has probably gotta be one of the easiest hunts. And I guess with the floods, brings everything in and it's all gonna be on the top or gets moved around I haven't been showing that much because the roundage I've been finding so all everything's been on top did pick up one thing I got it on my machine right now got a nice top water lure That's pretty got an 87 and I knew it was on the surface so I knew it's another quarter. What year is that? No, it's one of those state quarters. Uh, I don't know exactly, I have to clean it. That's another quarter. Everything's been uh, top fine, surface fines. So, I don't think there's gonna be a whole lot of a lot of video today. You just have to catch everything I've been wrapping. Let's keep going. Okay, I think I'm through coin shooting. Get the wife out and let stretch her. She got a We're gonna go searching. <laughs> we got some grabs. 
pluck out of here. Maybe get some cool rocks. That's a lead. Hey, no, that's stone. Almost look like one of those uh, paleo. They got the little fluke. Whoa. We're gonna take it anyway. <sighs> Put it in the man purse. <laughs> Pretty good. Still has a little trouble with that leg. She knows I'm talking about her. We had a little grab her fight earlier. I let her win. Let's see what we got. Got a little bit of change. Pocket change. All surface. Piece of a turtle shell, maybe. Water root was uh, a real nice green, but now it's all become muddy. And that bottom is stirring up. Thought I had something. Long cut. Grizzly. I didn't know grizzlies uh, dip snuff or chew. We just had the first day of spring about two days ago. We're on the 20th. And today right now, my nose feels like it's going to fall off. That wind is so cold. Something's wrong. Found a scuba tank. For squirrels. That was a Navy secret project one time. They were trying to train squirrels for scuba diving. They were so small they could go undetected. Uh, there were our elite forces. No, 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 no. No. Don't hold me to that, though. <laughs> I do respect our special forces. But we do use sometimes unconventional methods. So, squirrel scuba tank. <laughs> That muscle on a half shell. You need to get your money back. There ain't no muscle there. People eat those things. Yuck. I don't think so. I'd have to be really hungry. A lot of rocks. Foundation stone. Probably not. Of some of the stuff that came from that. Yeah, that's right. My wife reminded me. Yesterday, first day of spring, and it snowed here. 
Now I know what kind of rock she's looking for. She wants to do those little painted ones. She's found a couple. And, and she's looked for agates. I told her, I said, I think we're fine. I'm on this end. We're down on that end. She wants to look for those and some rocks that would make good painted rocks. So she can give them to me and I can hide them in places. Maybe videotape people finding them. My nose is frozen. Okay, which one would y'all think that is? A horse head or a dog's head? me this kind of looks like one of the hot wings that uh, <laughs> we had when yeah, before we came here big drumstick that's been good a little bit now you could probably put a little bit of wood right there and get you a wood stick and spin it in your hand start a fire piece of a knife metal yeah, it looks like it's kind of got a little edge there. Was that piece of a knife? Maybe? It might be. That's what I, I would say. It's got that edge looks right really there. Old. Probably a sword. Hey, that would be cool. Like a part of a Civil War sword. Okay. 1800s. <laughs> Probably even older. Who knows? Put that man in. Purse. Put in a man purse. Man purse. No, I still got a nose. I think it's frozen. All right, we're slowly getting to the other end of here. I don't know how far we're gonna go. It's all up to her. She's doing good. I'm proud of her. See out there with those rocks and stuff. Over here we got a lot more sand, a lot more smaller. I think here's where we're gonna find all those uh, quite a few more maggots. I mean agates. Let's just try to grab some. Uh, I think that's that's probably big. Be careful and don't don't break it. I think I gotta get some oil, spray some oil on mine. It's a little stiff. Yeah, All right, let's keep looking for rocks. There you go. Like a baby dinosaur egg. See if the wife likes that one. Got one for you. What do you think this could be? Easter egg. I don't know. An Easter egg. Drown. Like an Easter egg. You could hide it for like Easter. A, like a big ostrich egg or something. That's heavy. We'll put it over here. If we don't find, if I can grab it, I'm just gonna kick it. I run out of patience. Put it right there. Well, my baby's still hanging it, hanging it, hang on, rub the little off. Stand up with me. She's determined to find her some rocks. I'll tell you, that little lady, she's been through a lot of pain this past year. I'm really proud of her. You know, sometimes when y'all walking along creeks or high bank, and uh, I always like to look at the, 
at the sides of dirt. Look for discoloration, usually in a V, where the ground looks like a lot darker. And especially along uh, a lake or a river, when you start seeing pieces of um, mussel shellfish, that was an Indian cook pit. That was a trash pit. Because that's where they, uh, a little fire pit, that's where they would light and those throw those uh, mussels on and let them cook. So a lot of times when you're walking, I always look for discolorations like shape of the V. Look to see if you see any kind of items sticking out like muscle shells and stuff. Then start searching your area. Might been might be around a, an Indian site. Never know. I'll tell you in the situation. This is that gray river clay. I think some people actually use it for cosmetic. But you take enough of this, get it, try to get as much of the impurities out of it. You can make you a bowl. Sit there. Shapes just like molding, just like molding clay, ceramic. Sit there, make you a bowl, then heat it up, stick it in the fire. How a lot of Indians made their stuff, made the bowls and all, using that kind of mud. Okay, we're doing a wrap up. It's mainly just a day just to get out with the wife and let her walk a little bit. She walked a little too much and her knee's starting to swell. We got a few little things, including some muddy boots <laughs> and a dirty vehicle. A bunch of rocks that that's gonna give her some something to do to oops to paint and make all of them funny faces on them I guess. Came in what they call them friendship or love rocks. Happy rocks. Happy rocks. Okay, there's that butter knife that I found. Gotta make some kind of a tool or something at home. I honestly believe that was a knife some kind of a blade but it was heavy it was heavy duty because it's thin there and the backbone of it it's wide it does have that taper on the front it's like it broke off who knows probably a sword there's something i thought was a ring at first i claimed it up i still don't know what it is got a few quarters a couple of quarters some uh, slinkins, got a nickel, three dimes, a piece of iron, don't know what it is. And I came up on uh, some high numbers, but I don't know. Got some coal, uh, melted aluminum. Now, this is interesting. I think this is a surface find. Probably something for uh, really not. I wouldn't even say a door handle. Some kind of a facing. It's pretty cool. Might find some use for that. Found a little brown bottle. It could be in a, a toothache bottle, maybe. That's brown. That's cool. Ah, the scuba tank for squirrels. Yep. He's probably on the train and exercise, and he left it. Oops. OK. 
Okay, so that's it. That was our little fun day. Now we're fixing to head home. Long drive. And we're hungry. So I'm going to get these mud off the... Get these boots off. Try to knock the mud off. And we're going to head on. So, thanks for uh, watching. And, uh... Like the video. Thumbs up. <laughs> wasn't that much, but it was just fun getting out.